Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life, and be sure that you get an amazing laugh on every single day. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I appreciate all the support. Thank you for all the donations. To ev Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I am currently doing the reading of Earth Signs. That is the Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So I'm going to do something that is called a seventh uh, horseshoe spread or a seven card read, okay? And then I'm going to clarify each card after I pull it. Each card, I'm going to clarify with an oracle card, okay? So, let's get started. Okay. All right, so Earth Signs. First card out is the Magician. This is your past. This first card out represents your past. The magician, you could feel like um, in the past, you didn't have all the tools you needed to manifest what you wanted in your life. You didn't see things coming forth the way that you wanted them to. Or you could feel like somebody was trying to play mind games with you in the past um, and, and manipulate a situation sort of to get things to go their way instead of your way. Um but I also feel like you feel like you didn't have everything that you need, all the tools you needed to bring forth um, what you really wanted in your life or something. Um, you could also feel like in the past that um, you were not, you were sort of enabled or you weren't seeing things or like... Um, like your emotions, you weren't tapped into your emotions the way you should have been. You weren't thinking logically in a situation. Um, you didn't have the money that you really did want. Um, you know, and, and just you just kind of felt like things were not where you wanted it to always be. And so um, I just get that you also could have felt like... Um, you didn't put, you didn't have enough passion or something to make your dreams come true. Like it wasn't enough, you know, you didn't have enough fire under your dreams or something like, or you wasn't putting enough into your dreams to make things come true. You just, I kind of feel like you feel like you were lacking in something and that's why things did not work out the way that you wanted in them to in the past. Okay. And then the next card represents your present situation. And this is the, um, the muse of materials, meaning that you're in that place right now where you are focused on finances. You're focused on making your life more beautiful. You're focused on um, climbing that ladder to success. That's your main focus. Um, I get that you want even give and take in connections. Um, anything that does not serve you, you're you're like sort of leaving it behind. You're looking to just be successful right now in your life and make sure you have prosperity. Um, I get that you're also looking in the mirror. You're looking at how you handled things in your life before. And you want to handle things a little differently now. You want to make sure that you give to yourself a little more, more than you continue. You know, maybe you gave a lot to a lot of people and you sort of felt like, you know, you were put putting yourself on the back burner or something. Um, I get that you're now focusing more on just climbing to the top, getting to where you need to be, working very hard on things in your life. Um and looking for the sunlight, wanting things to to a better outcome in your life um, currently. That's what you. That's what you're working hard towards. What is helping you, Earth sign? Um, the Nine of Wands, but it's in reverse. And so the fact that you're not so defensive about everything, you're not. Um, you're sort of like you're sort of not on guard about every little thing or nitpicking over every little thing. Like it's like you are paying attention to detail, but you're not, it's not to the point where you are being inconsiderate of others. It's like you're paying attention to detail, but you're really, 
you know, it's like you've sort of let down your guard. Maybe you were always defensive, always like looking for the next challenge or something. Um, always feeling like you had to strategize with everybody, not quite letting things um, just naturally flow. And I get that you have sort of changed your stance on certain things. And that's actually a good thing. It's sort of like you're trusting yourself a lot more. You're trusting the universe more. And you're understanding that situations that are meant to happen are going to happen. People are who's meant to be in your life will be there. People who are not, they're not going to be there. Um, and I get that you are just learning to accept things, some things for what they are, that you cannot control every situation. I get that you are not working so hard. You're you're working hard to get to your goals, but you're not working unnecessarily hard to the point relationships are being damaged in the process. Um, I get that you're working hard towards your goals, though, um, but you still are, are learning to take um, people into consideration during the process. And then the fourth card is the obstacles that you need to overcome the fool card. And so there's some sort of that fool card represents um, Aries energy, new beginnings, um, kind of like throwing caution to the wind. Um, so you could feel like these are the obstacles that you need to overcome, like throwing caution to the wind, um, not caring about the outcome of a situation, these are things that you need to overcome, that you need to realize that um, you have to sort of like, it's good that you're strategizing, but it's good that it's also good that you are sort of thinking about other people too, that you're not being inconsiderate of how they feel or their feelings and it's just like, you know, maybe you had to keep restarting something over and over and over again, and you're tired of having to keep restarting a situation or a situation not working out um, because you had to keep restarting something over and over again, and you became frustrated with this. So it's like you have to overcome the obstacle of... Staying in something, knowing when to move on, knowing when to um, and knowing when to move on, and knowing when to stay. Okay, and so maybe you've outstayed your welcome somewhere, and it's time to move on, and that has been an obstacle for you. That you, it's hard for you to move on in a new direction and start anew. Okay, and then this card, the fifth card represents how the public view you, which is the two of pentacles. So the public could view you in a way where you're sort of off balanced. Um, things need to be more balanced in your life. Um, maybe you put work in front of everything and you know, just because you want your checkbook to be balanced, you want your bank account to be balanced. So every, the relationships in your life have taken a hit. They are, your relationships are off balance because you're always putting work first or you're putting work last. And so your relationships seem to be going better, but your work life isn't going so well, or your work life could just be off balance. Like things need to sort of balance out. Or people could be looking at you as like you're unbalanced in your life or something. Okay, then we have um, what you should do. Four of Cups. With the Four of Cups, it shows that you need to be appreciative of what you have. Um, you have all of these wonderful blessings around you. All of these offers always being given to you. And I get that you're still sulking over something from the past. You're still, you're not paying attention to what's the blessings that you have right in front of you. Um, you're not paying attention to the blessings that are around you. 
because you're so busy focusing on something that you could have lost or you don't have, or you're just, I get like an ungrateful feeling. That's what I get. Like you're ungrateful about something and you don't even realize you're showing lack of gratitude. Um, and it's like you have these gigantic blessings all around you. And you're just still like, oh, you know, this isn't working out. It's like you're focusing on the wrong thing. You're complaining about the wrong stuff, even though you're truly blessed. Okay, and then the outcome is the very last card. And this is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is the outcome. Like you're you're smartening up in life. You are being smarter. You're you're getting like insight um, about things, starting, you know, getting the information that you want that help you make new decisions, move on to something new. You're finding out exactly what you want that's going to help you move forward in a situation. And you're going to be very happy about something that you have learned. You're feeling stronger too. Um, you're thinking more logically. And so due to that, it's like that has really helped. That's going to really help you. That's the outcome of the situation. Okay, so I'm going to clarify each card now. Earth sign. And so I'm using the Angel and Ancestors Oracle deck by Cal Gray. The first card I'm going to clarify is your past card. And that was the Magician card, right? In reverse. So Holy Spirit... Can you please help us to clarify the magician card in reverse for the earth sign? Holy Spirit, can you please help us with clarifying the magician card in reverse for the earth sign? Okay, it says, great teacher learn from spiritual experiences. So something, a spiritual in spirit experiences, a white dove represents hope. So um, in the past, and it's saying, like it says, learn from spiritual experiences. So with the magician card, like I said, that represents like, you know, magical things happening in your life. You feeling like you didn't have enough or you didn't have all the tools you needed to be as successful as you want it to be or something in the past. But that was a learning experience and you could have gone down a spiritual path to kind of help you and, and you remained hopeful that things would definitely work out for you, um, Earth Sign. And I get that you learned a lot spiritually um, due to past failures or disappointments or something. I'm feeling like as well as you learned a lot from people who were trying to manipulate you. Or something, play a lot of mind games. You learned a lot about that as well. Okay, so the next card out represents your present situation. Like I say, you're working hard to get to accomplish goals. Um, walking up that uh, ladder of life, that the progression. Um, moving on to wanting to see the sun shine in your life. Giving yourself more credit. Giving yourself more support. Um stepping up so you can work towards your goals okay so holy spirit please help us clarify this muse of material card for the earth sign please help us clarify this muse of material card for the earth sign okay and so the card that came out says warrior be fearless and stand strong beautiful earth sign beautiful so Working hard towards something, being fearless, standing strong for yourself, um, not giving up, knowing that you'll get to the top and you'll reach those goals um, if you keep putting in the work behind it, right? And so um, standing up for yourself, uh, being fearless, facing your challenges in life, things like that, okay? All right, so Holy Spirit, we're going to go ahead and move on to the third card. The third card is what is helping you, which is the nine of wands in reverse. And I get that you're sort of just letting things happen instead of always feeling like you have to be on defense. You don't feel like you have to control every aspect of every situation. Um, you're sort of just letting things happen as they you're understanding that um, you're working hard, but if there is more important things out here in this life. Besides 
working, 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 working. Um, so you're putting things into perspective, kind of understanding that people are people, human beings are human beings. You can't control everyone and every aspect of everything. Okay. So the card out white, witch, be the light. And so I get that you are wiser now. You've changed more. You're, you've grown more, Earth sign. So I get that you are moving smarter. You're trusting your instinct. You have changed. You've transformed. You're feeling more fruitful. Um, you've grown some. You've learned from these experiences in your life. And that is what's actually helping you. And you're focused on making money. <laughs> You're focused on making money and you, you understand that you cannot control every aspect of every situation all the time, right? Okay, so then we have the Fool card and that Fool card represents obstacles that you need to overcome. So you may have a problem with moving on from something, letting something go. Um, you could need a new start in a situation and it's hard for you to let go and start a new, um, you could be very worried. Um, again, I get that you just, you want to control the outcome of every situation. So it's hard for you to throw caution to the wind. So Holy Spirit, what would you like for the earth sign to know about this fool card? about the obstacles that they need to overcome. Holy Spirit, what would you like for these earth signs to know about the obstacles that they need to overcome with this fool card? You could have felt also felt like you played the fool in something too. Okay, Summer, bask in the joy and light. All right, so something about the summer, um, you basking, feeling good about yourself, something being as sweet as honey, a new beginning, it may be what you need and it may come around in the summertime where you're feeling like you're basking in the joy and the light. Um, you're you're tasting, you're seeing the all the hard work. A bumblebee is on here, like bumblebees work hard. So, you know, um, to build a colony of something. So it's like you're working hard to build this home and you're starting a new, you, you're, you're, and it's going to bring you a lot of joy. Um, you're learning to, it's okay, that it's okay to move on and sometimes throw caution to the wind. You're learning that you don't have to control every little situation all the time. Um, you could be working very hard to make sure that your family does not go without. Um, but I get that you're thinking about moving on from something so, to, to make your life so you can be more joyful. You can feel like you're, you're so serious all the time. Um, and that your family life is not the way that you wanted it to be. So you could be thinking about moving on, if you, you know, from a situation where you want things to be better and you can taste the sweet honey of your hard work, the rewards of your hard work or something. Okay. And then this card represents how people see you. This is the two of pentacles. And like I said, the people see you as sort of unbalanced, um, having a lot going on all at one time, things sort of being up in the air, trying to balance things out, um, but it's off balance in some way, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for the earth sign to know about the two of pentacles? Holy Spirit, what would you like for the earth sign to know about the two of pentacles? Okay, sage, be devoted and committed. So something about you being devoted to a situation, being committed to a situation, um, you may need to sage out your area to sort of cleanse your area, cleanse your life, clean up your financial situation or clean up the way how unbalanced your life is. Um, you may need to, you know, be devoted to balancing out your life, be committed to balancing out your life, things that are that are not going right or things that you want to fix, work towards fixing those things and have an even balance in your life. Um, people 
could be looking at you like you are a devoted and committed person um and that your energy is is more of like um even though things may seem a little off balance that you are sort of like a good energy type person or you know how to release negative energy or something or you need to release negative energy or something like that okay then we're going to go ahead and move on to what you should do this four of emotions four of cups speak of you appreciating the offers that are given to you um because you're not a, you're not grateful for something um so it's like you need to be be more grateful for the blessings that you have in your life show gratitude to the divine um for all the blessings that you have, I get th that you have offers that were given to you that you turned down just because um, you're not seeing the blessings in certain things. Okay, so Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know? What would you like for the earth sign to know about this four of cups? Holy Spirit, what would you like for the earth sign to know about this four of cups? It says, broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. It's time to make peace with something. It's time to stop focusing on what you don't have, what you lost, um, focusing on mistakes that you made in the past, um, bad decisions or whatever. It's time to stop focusing on that and look at the blessings that you really have. You could feel like... Um, like what the, you could feel broken at times, like things, you, you know, something is broken and you want to sort of repair it and bring peace to the situation. Um, this could be a connection that you have with someone that you feel like is broken. Um, the connection is broken with somebody and you want to bring peaceful energy to the situation. And that could be the very thing why you're feeling sad, even though you have all these blessings around you. It's some relationship in your life that needs healing, that needs peace, that needs to be repaired, that needs to, um, it's like you and this person went your separate ways and you want to bring peace between you all. You're feeling sad about that you all don't have a peaceful connection, even though you do have other areas in your life and things like that, other blessings in your life, I meant. Okay, Holy Spirit, we're going to do this last card. And then the reading will be over. We're going to um, clarify this last card. And this is the Ace of Swords. Um, and that's the final outcome. You getting some sort of enlightenment, some sort of information coming in that's going to give you a new start, a new beginning. You getting, um, you're being wise and feeling strong and um, direct about things, saying what's on your mind, how you feel about a situation. Um, like I said, getting a lot of insight. So Holy Spirit, what would you like for the earth signs to know about this Ace of Swords? this final outcome of a situation. Holy Spirit, what would you like for this earth sign, these earth signs to know about the final outcome of a situation? Okay, it says drum, dream and journey. And again, we have things going up and down. Think you learning things, dreaming and journeys that you need to take. Dreaming big too. Learning information that's going to help you dream big, support your dreams, your big dreams. Um, being wiser, uh, moving a new beginning, a new start in something. Um, healing past situations that you feel like are broken. And so in, in, in um, being in that energy of peace, um, I just get that you are the outcome is going to be very good because you're going to get some information that's going to help you with your dreams in this journey in life. So that's the end of the reading earth signs. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please be sure to hit that like, share and subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. If you want to know how to donate, hit that description box. The information is in there. Thank you so much. I will talk with you soon.